Joining us now is Kraft Ventures co-founder and partner David Sachs. David, welcome. So a, a big issue in this strike is electric vehicles and how many auto workers are going to be required to make them. So what do you think is at stake here for the U.S. EV industry and the competitiveness and, and the next generation of auto suppliers who are more likely to be, you know, U.S. software and chip companies? Uh, John, you're getting into a level of detail that, you know, unfortunately, I'm not I'm not that familiar with the auto industry. But you know, my understanding of what UAW is seeking is that they want a 40 percent pay increase while reducing the number of work hours from five days to four days a week. And I think what the auto companies have said is that's just not realistic. So I do think that um, this would be an opportunity for presidential leadership to come in and maybe help resolve this, um, tell the unions that what they're demanding may not be economically feasible. I think what I heard the CEO of Ford say is that his company couldn't turn a profit if the UAW got all their demands. So, uh, but that's not happening because, you know, frankly, Biden is very pro-union. So this is why we're having the strike right now. There's an issue, though, I think, across the economy, not just in autos, also in software, right? We've got these co-pilot capabilities now that AI is providing mm -hmm. where you don't need as many programmers to get work done, and some workers are skittish about it. What, what is the right way for investors to think about that and for companies to proceed? I think these AI co-pilots are very interesting. I think it's a very exciting part of the AI, you know, just sort of developing AI space. And I think it's one of the best opportunities for startups to go after are these new co-pilots. I think that eventually in every job category, doctors, lawyers, accountants, um, architects, I think you're going to have a co-pilot that helps them do their jobs better. I think in every sort of horizontal job function in enterprises, sales, marketing, customer support, you're going to have co-pilots that help workers, knowledge workers do their jobs better. I think this is a very positive thing. I think it's a great opportunity for innovation. I am much less concerned about, uh, about co-pilots putting uh, workers out of a job. I think that, as the name implies, the idea of a co-pilot is a piece of software, a tool to mm -hmm. help that worker do their job better and to be more productive, to be, you know, more creative uh, even. And I think that, um, and I, so I think okay. ultimately these co-pilots are going to be very positive. I think it's just too soon to be jumping to the conclusion that's going to put everyone out of work. And I, okay. I know in Hollywood, they're very worried about that, but I'm much less worried about that. Let me ask you, n not directly just about SaskGrid, which is, you know, this offering that you have where for free, uh, you know, leaders of companies can plug in their metrics and see if they're performing at a level where, you know, you would want to invest and, and sort of uh, get a dashboard, a, a benchmark. Uh, there seems to be perhaps a continuing disconnect between the way the public market is valuing companies and the way much longer-term investors like venture capitalists are valuing companies. We just had Ali Godsey from Databricks on. Um, what was your reaction to the ARM IPO? What are your expectations for Instacart based on that? And are you telling your companies to perhaps look more closely at going public? Well, ultimately, going public is the goal for every venture-backed startup. I mean, that's the best-case scenario. Um, I mean, there's only really three good outcomes. You either IPO, you get acquired, or you, or you go out of business. So, uh, so there's really only two good outcomes. <laughs> right. Uh, so, so in any event, everyone wants to IPO. I think in terms of valuations, I think you're right that the private markets uh, got way off during uh, this sort of asset bubble in 2020 and 2021. Uh, but ultimately, private markets take their cues from the public markets because the public markets are exit comps. So all of those revaluations are happening now. I think you see this with the Instacart IPO. Uh, I think it's going to price, it, it, there are reports it's pricing at the top of its range, uh, which is about $10 billion, uh, but its last private round was at $39 billion. So mm -hmm. you can see there that, you know, private markets got way ahead of themselves over the last few years, and now that's getting sorted out. Uh, okay. But I do think that the reception for ARM and now Instacart is very positive. Uh, for showing that the market still is interested in technology names.